So I shopped another YouTuber's Dee stash. Hey everyone, today I've got some beautiful current polishes to share with you. I actually shopped another YouTuber's D stash. Oh my goodness. This is a YouTuber that I love to watch. You might have guessed by the thumbnail. This is from Manny Centric's D stash. I will leave her D stash site down below as well as her YouTube page so you can check her out if you haven't already. I love her vibe and she has a shoppable D stash that is really fun to shop. This is actually two orders combined. So I have six polishes here to share with you. Again, these are all current polishes. So if any of these polishes are interesting to you, I will leave links down in the description box in case you want to shop any of these polishes. But let me just show you what I ended up grabbing. This first one comes from a brand I know and love. This is a Linby Designs polish. Really shimmery. This one is called How Appalling Light. Funny story behind this polish is I actually thought these were mystery polishes. When I heard the Michigan Mysteries were going to be released, I thought they were actually individual mystery polishes. I didn't realize it was a collection called the Michigan Mysteries. So that was an interesting little trick my brain played on me. This polish is really, really pretty though. It is a white based green shimmer polish. I ended up swatching it here in two coats. I feel like it looks a little uneven on the nail wheel. However, it did cover my blue nail underneath. Here you can see it shift from green into blue into purple into pink. The pink and purple showing themselves really lightly in the utmost extreme angle. Really pretty one. This next one comes from Sweet and Sour Lacquer, a brand I started getting into last year. This one is I Want My MTV. This is such a fun and interesting Crelly polish. I've never seen anything quite like it. It gives such retro vibes and it has such an interesting mix of glitters. Those giant hex glitters really give a cool and interesting look too. And mixed with shards, I don't know. It just gives such a fun look. I love this. There's like a Dalmatian aspect to this. It looks like confetti. I don't know. It gives me so many different vibes and I just can't wait to wear this one. I was also really pleasantly surprised with the formula on this one. This only needed two coats as a Crelly and it looks amazing. This next one is by a brand I don't have many polishes from at all. This is a beautiful blue polish with a pink shimmer called Droplet. This one is by Maniology. The only polishes I have from them came with my original stamping starter kit. I bought a bunch of stamping plates from them quite some time ago, but I just haven't really dabbled in their polishes. Their polishes are highly pigmented because they're made for stamping. That led to this being a beautiful one coat polish. I felt like this was really close to the bleach neon robin's egg blue color that I've been looking for. Now we've got a handful of polishes from a brand I've been waiting to try. This one's called Let's Split Up Gang by Glam Polish. This one sounds like it could easily be a Scooby-Doo polish. And with the color scheme here, I definitely think it might be definitely a super cute Crelly. I was really careful with my application here, but... I got this to be opaque in one coat somehow. A Crelly in one coat? I love when that happens. This next one is so stinking cute. This is a pink Crelly with pink glitters and hollow glitters. This one is Best Day Ever Barbie by Glam Polish. One of my favorite Crellies in my collection is pink with pink glitters, so I knew I had to try this one. I love a soft, delicate pink polish in general, though, so this one definitely caught my attention. All of these pink Barbie polishes coming out here recently have just been so fun. I used to never wear reds and pinks, and now I'm like a pink polish lover. The timing of it all is just really perfect, and this gives such a princessy, cotton candy type of vibe. I really, really love this polish. It did build up perfectly in two coats, a really beautiful two coat pink Crelly. The last one kind of reminds me of the first Glam Polish. It has that light lilac-y base. 
purple flakes instead of glitters and this one has like a green shimmer instead of those green glitters this one is called a fairy tale life here you can see the base tone is pretty similar but the elements are different and the shimmer in this polish pretty much goes away on the nail it just looks like the tiniest micro glistening shimmer within the base of the polish it doesn't actually give like a green effect or anything I will say, trying these glam polishes definitely makes me want to check out the brand further. When I initially checked out the brand, I feel like they had like 99 pages of stuff and it was just too overwhelming. Now, it's not the case, so I'm definitely going to check them out. Here in this shot, you can kind of see the twinkle that the shimmer gives, but it is very, very subtle. Just a little something extra in the base of the polish. And this one is pictured here in two coats. But that is everything that I grabbed from the Manny Centric D stash. I will go ahead and leave her YouTube page as well as her D stash and blog site. And I will also go ahead and leave links to all of these polishes since each of these are still available. But that's it for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.